Let's attempt to conceptualize Mother Nature, not as a colossal, omnipotent being governing every aspect of life on Earth, but rather as a human entity. Think of her as being undergoing various emotional states, such as happiness, sadness, regret, and, intriguingly, anger. If we were to attribute the emotion of anger to nature, its manifestation would undeniably be seen in two natural phenomena, volcanoes and blowholes. Rocks, inarguably the hardest natural structures on the Earth's surface, undergo myriad changes over extended periods of time, much like their other natural counterparts. In fact, a blowhole is the final outcome of an extensive geological process occurring over thousands of years involving rock. This is how it forms. When the hydraulic force of ocean waves crash against the land, it initially causes visible fractures on the surface. Gradual but constant wave movement at the base of cliffs or similar solid coastal structures accentuates these fractures and weakens the area around them, creating sea caves at the bottom of the cliffs. This damages the integrity of the rock, but the constant wave movement also relentlessly pushes air into these tiny fissures at the surface, putting the rock under constant stress. During high tide, this already weakened rock structure faces further deterioration. More faults develop, leading to increased surface erosion and pressure from the trapped air in the fissures. With the passage of time, the rock grows weaker as the terrain above it experiences geological change and the upper surface progressively erodes due to natural processes, such as weathering and chemical dissolution. The endurance of the rock primarily diminishes at two critical points, the top and bottom. When both areas fail to cope with the pressure of the entrapped air below and the incessant onslaught of the sea, parts of the rock crumble. If the circumstances align, such as during high tide or a turbulent sea storm, water spurts out from the newly created hole with tremendous pressure. These bursts can reach heights of an incredible 30 meters, nearly 100 feet. Globally, several sites are infamous for their exceptional blowholes, such as Tiarei in Tahiti, Wupakti in Arizona, the Halonia Blowhole in Hawaii, Trevon in Cornwall, Punta Banda Peninsula in Mexico, and Kiama in New South Wales. Blowholes are not typically classified as naturally hazardous, perhaps due to their sporadic displays of power and energy. However, their unpredictability can make them extremely dangerous, as they can erupt without any warning, leaving onlookers no time to get out of the way. Past incidents of sudden blowhole activity have led to various injuries and even fatalities. Regions known to harbor blowholes often place warning signs nearby to alert people about the potential threat. Your most reliable defense against blowholes is to respect these warning signs and maintain a safe distance from precarious areas. It's not wise to attempt any close inspection of blowholes, but with a little patience, you may be fortunate enough to observe an impressive display of Mother Nature's fury from a safe distance. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Your feedback not only supports us, but also helps our channel reach more viewers and continue to grow.